Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, um, ladies and gentlemen, for being here to answer our questions. I know you are always in the hot seat here. This is a very uh, passionate um, issue and subject for, for everyone. Um, as MLAs, we get a lot of calls. We get a lot of calls from public, but we also get a lot of people reaching, a lot of paramedics reach out to us. Um, I get reached out from paramedics right across the province, and I know they say they're not allowed to say anything, they're not allowed to, uh, to uh, complain, or they're afraid, I guess, to complain. But I know, and I'm sure I speak on behalf of others too, that get an, a calls from paramedics, um, and they're crying for help, basically. When we see, you know, these numbers, when I started this in 2018, uh, we met with Meta V, and their numbers were in the 80s and 90s response time. Uh, 2020, we met, and the numbers were in this response times of, of 80s and 90s percent. Now, again, the numbers are, you know, these positive slides that we're seeing numbers in, in 80s and 90s percent. But the messages that we're getting from across the board, um, you know, ambulances are responding from Miramichi to Moncton. There's one ambulance covering the entire Kent County region. Um, there's ambulances, one ambulance from St. John to Shediac, from Fredericton to Moncton. This is the norm now for the, the lack of ambulances. 20 trucks um, off, off of, of another night, um, just the other, just uh, last weekend. But yet, we're showing numbers in the 90 percents. The AG are telling us the numbers are distorted. The par every paramedic that we talk to are telling us the numbers are distorted. You showed us numbers that the numbers are increasing, your calls are increasing by the thousands from one year to the next. Yet we have more empty trucks. We have way more offload delays. I started in, in um, the hospital back in 2012, 2013. I was there for 10 years. When I first got there, I didn't hear of an offload delay, and now it's the norm. So we have all these changes, yet your numbers are still showing 90%. How is that even possible? I'll offer the first response to that member. Thank you for the question. We've spoken quite a bit around differentiation between the, the concept of contractual figures and, and, and raw figures. And, uh, sorry. No. Uh, and you know, in the, in the presentation that was shared with you, you know, there's no uh, there's no skirting the issue around the raw numbers. Um, you know, if you look at the slide, it shows that the urban response in 1920 was 84.2 raw. In 2021, 81.7. Uh, and you see the, the, the similar figures for rural, 89.3 to 88.3. So there's full recognition of, of, of that uh, reality. So, the, the idea of, of contractual response has been addressed in, in the AG report, and we've spoken to it. Um, you know, there has been a move by EMA and B to be more transparent, publication of raw uh, geographic breakdown of that raw data. That's all on the, on the website. So uh, that's been some of the, the changes that have happened in the interest of, of showing uh, an accurate picture of what's happening at the board level. Uh, we entertain contractual figures, but we also entertain raw figures. There is no disputing, uh, in my, my opinion, uh, the reality of, of uh, scarcity of resources and depleted coverage that can exist anecdotally. Uh, and you see that, uh, you know, the previous members have spoken here uh, from both sides relative to uh, specific communities that have lower response rates. Uh, the numbers are, are uh, more global. We, we've talked about that uh, and, and spoken a bit to some of the efforts that have been made to address it. Uh, can there be improvements? Absolutely. I'd offer that as response. I don't know, JP. Uh, just commenting on one of your points, I, I think if paramedics, they shouldn't be a, a afraid to speak up. If they have an issue, we have concerns, I'm more than welcome to listen to them. I've been receiving more and more emails and phone calls. So if anybody 
uh, thinks they're going to get fired because they have a complaint or anything like that. That's not the case. I would want to hear from them, and maybe they can bring some solution. So uh, if you have specific members that are talking to you on a regular basis, I would encourage them to contact me. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I just, I don't find, I don't believe in these numbers. From the last few meetings that we've met, I, I just don't believe in, in the numbers. Um, I just want to, I have one, just one or two more questions, but it's, it's based on the bonuses that are received from government for hitting numbers. When you receive the bonuses, and this is just in 2020 when all this mess is happening too, um, is that based on because it has to be, I think, 90% was the, the thing. So is that based on your contractual numbers of 90 plus percent, or is it based on the raw numbers below 80? Uh, Im implied in that term of contractual response, it is uh, based on the contractual response rates. The 90% does include exemptions, to be clear. I'd also offer, you know, we, we talked a fair amount around the, the AG report, and that was one of the AG's observations with respect to the contract uh, in terms of exemptions and uh, the use of exemptions. Again, this is something that uh, any renegotiation would, would address. Should be looked at, absolutely, um, because the exemptions are the biggest part of your equations. And, um, yeah, there's a lot wrong with that. The bonuses uh, that are given to the company, um, where do they? Where is that money spent? Where does that money go? The the contract allows for incentives, and, and as the contract evolved from its uh, initial form covering the period 2007 to uh, 2016 inclusive, uh, there was a move to include. Uh, a pay for performance concept we just spoke about in terms of emergent response there are other areas uh, relative to official languages relative to transfers um, that money is paid to the management firm the vendor with whom we've contracted to administer and provide backroom support frontline management and backroom support to EMANB once that money is paid to them as an earned fee uh, and I would earn in the context of KPIs based on results, uh, it's not within the public domain. How Medivy Health Services spends its revenue is beyond the purview of, of EMA and B as a board.